Howdy folks, today I'm gonna to be doing the thing that I've been avoiding for the past couple of months. Probably since we moved here. No, definitely since before we moved here. I'm gonna be clearing out all the clothing that I've been hoarding, waiting for me in the fall time. And hopefully there's some things that I love in this bag, these huge bags. So we have like a little closet situation happening underneath the steps to get into the attic. And that's just been kind of like our storage for all of our fall and winter stuff. But unfortunately that is a mess. So I just thought that a rainy day like today would be the perfect time to go through everything clear everything out, show you guys what I'm going to be donating, selling, and my maybe pile. And then with all of the maybe stuff, I'm going to be going on my Instagram and asking you guys whether or not I should keep it. It's kind of bothering me that my body's like halfway through the screen. Sorry, guys. Whew. Deep breaths. Let's begin. <laughs> I'm a strong woman. Yes. I actually have, a, I think, a couple more downstairs, but those are a little bit more organized. So we're gonna go through this pile today and the rest I'll be doing on my own. This cardigan I've had since I was like in college back in my boho days. And yes, I still have it because it's honestly so beautiful. I don't see myself wearing this again. So I think I'm gonna sell this because it's in really good condition. Oh, this blazer is so adorable. This one is actually from Tibi and it was a hand-me-down because my mom happens to work or happen to work for an actor. I'm gonna definitely keep that. This is a jacket that I thrifted. It's like a very simple little windbreaker. Perfect for a rainy day. Let's see if it'll fit me. Oh. I mean, it's still really cute, but I don't know. I'll sell it for really cheap because I got this at Train Vintage. This one, I think I'm gonna sell or give away to one of my friends or something because I personally don't wear this kind of silhouette of dress anymore. I think this one's actually a size large, yeah. So it's a little bit too big for me. I got this on ThreadUp a while ago. So I think I'm gonna sell it. Hopefully somebody that'll fit better. I'm actually kind of proud of myself because so far I feel like I just like have a definitive idea of the things that I wanna keep. So I'm gonna put on my bed. I have a box. I think this one actually has my one and only little designer. It's not even a bag, it's a designer pouch. Kind of keep it for a sentimental reason, but I also don't really have any like fancy bags so I can't get rid of it. Oh, I have an and other stories jacket. I love the silhouette of this, but I think it's a little bit too colorful. Oh yeah, okay, so this one is actually a bag that was gifted to me from my friend Francine. And actually this is a lot better for the summertime. So I'm gonna keep this guy for next summer. These pants are so incredible. I'm not sure if this is actually my style anymore. So I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because I love the fit of these. They're really high-waisted and then they have these cool like bells at the bottom. Super frayed. This top is a little Liz Claiborne knit top that I think is vintage and it's a really cute little basic but honestly I just didn't really find myself grabbing for these types of things last summer. I think I'm gonna either sell this or donate it, but I'll put it in the sell pile for now. I actually put this top to sell on my uh, on my Depop and a subscriber purchased it from me, but unfortunately I just couldn't find it. I thought I'd already like donated or something, so I ended up giving her another top. I'm thinking about keeping it and having it there for the summertime because I really like the print. These shorts are cute, but I'm gonna sell them because my booty is a little bit too big for them. I think this one is actually a little bit too big on me, so I'm gonna sell these. This top, I think I'm gonna donate or try to sell like for really cheap. If I don't sell them, then I'm gonna donate it because it's really pretty top. Okay, so I also got a button up from Anthropology that I purchased when I worked there, but it's not really my style. Oh my gosh, I can't believe there was a time that I used to wear gray. I mean, it's a nice gray and it's a really nice top, but I don't know that I'll be wearing this in the future, so I'm gonna sell that. Oh, I remember this. I actually thrifted this, I think, like last year or something, but it did have a problem with this in that it was like a little bit too low cut for me. I think I'm gonna sell this as well. Ooh, a little wrap skirt. Oh no, it's a top. <laughs> I'm gonna sell this one. Haven't worn it in a while. Oh my gosh. Do any of you guys remember these? I feel like I used to wear them so much back when I was in college, again, in my boho days. These are high-waisted free people corduroy pants, but I don't really wear skinnies anymore. So I'm gonna sell these to anyone else 
that wants to buy them. They have like a little bit of a frayed edge here at the bottom, still in good condition. I think this was actually something that was gifted to me. It's originally from Motel. I got it last year. It just looks like this and it's a little button up. It's very relaxed. I don't really wear these types of prints anymore. So I'm gonna pop this one in the cell pile. I feel like a lot of these things I haven't worn in so long. And this one actually brings me so many great memories. The little ruffled top that I got from Princess Polly back when I used to collaborate with like fast fashion companies. I don't know, I just really used to like this top. It kind of made me feel like a dancer whenever I wore it. I'll put this in my maybe pile, but I'm pretty sure I wanna sell that. Ooh, this one's really cute. It's actually originally from American Apparel and it's a little lace bodysuit. Will I wear it? That's the question. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell that. Got this blazer a while ago from Urban Outfitters back when I collaborated with them and I always really wanted to love this blazer but it was a little bit too big for me and the shoulders were just too broad. I'm gonna see if I sell this because it's really good quality jacket. Got this wrap dress from a brand called ETA. But I got this from Buffalo Exchange some years ago. I don't know if I'd wear this, so I'm gonna sell it. Keep in mind, guys, I'm trying to be really hard on myself because I feel like I keep a lot of things that I just don't wear anymore. And like, okay, for example, this. I got this back when I worked with Princess Polly and I never wore this top, which is just sad and also the reason why I don't shop fast fashion anymore because I just really like giving thought into the pieces that I have. But I am gonna see if I could sell it. If not, then I'll donate it. It's originally from this company called Some Days Lovin'. Do you guys see the pile? It's getting so big. By the way, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but my username on Depop is at Diana Chamomile, just like everything else. I'm gonna be selling all of this stuff here. So if you're interested in anything that you're seeing, you could just pop on there. Ooh, okay, so I have these trousers that are so cool. They're like really wide legged, and then they have this paper bag fit around the waist. I think I'm gonna be selling them though, just because the colors that are on the pants themselves are a little bit too dark for me. So I feel like for somebody that likes more neutrals, this would definitely look a lot better with that kind of wardrobe. So this one, I believe I actually got at the Goodwill last year. It's originally American Apparel, a little simple tank top that would look really cute, just kind of styled with some high-waisted mom jeans. Mm, do I wanna keep this? <laughs> I'm gonna see if I could sell this. Oh, I remember I got this from the men's section. It just looks like this, and I honestly don't think that I'm gonna wear this anymore. For all my office working ladies out there, I have this face skin theory top. It's a little button up and then it has these like long cuffs and then kind of like gets really billowy around here. It's a really flattering piece, but I just don't see myself wearing this often. So I'm gonna sell that guy. And then I have a sheer lacy top originally from Free People and it has a little hole here for your thumb. So if you're into that, That'll also be selling on my Depop. This one's a little knit jumper, originally from Abercrombie & Fitch. I'll put it in my maybe pile for now because I feel like this will be something good to have in the winter when I'm cold. This one I actually got as a hand-me-down from my mom. It's more of like a duster, but I think I'm gonna sell this one. It is a vintage dress. It's not really my style anymore. Oh, this dress I actually got when I worked on the Goodwill for their curated project. It has like all these like little moon stars on them. It's corduroy, it's really cute, but it's just a little bit too put together for me. So I'm gonna put this one on the cell pile as well. This one was actually gonna be a DIY project. So what I was thinking for this one is to just make this a little bit shorter because it's just so long that it's unflattering. It kind of makes my body look sort of stumpy. I'm gonna think about whether or not I should DIY this and just see what it fits like. And I have this top that I got from Ghani. I think this one was actually from when I collaborated with thread up and I should have returned it. I was just, I had a lot going on at the time, so I'm gonna sell it. This one's really, really adorable, guys. It's like a bright blue tank top. It's gonna go on my maybe pile. I think it'd be really cute to wear with like, I don't know, some high-waisted mom jeans or something for the summertime. Do you guys remember my cherry phase? I have a top here from that time. It's got these adorable little cherries and this like little crisscross neckline you could always just use a safety pin or just wear it with a tank top underneath i think that's a little bit easier but the reason why i'm not going to keep this is because i've been seeing cherries everywhere and it just put me off so i'm not going to be keeping it but i will be selling it because i know a lot of people are still into that then i have this floral print top it's originally from alfred dunner it's i think vintage but i could be wrong it could just like 
have a vintage style to it and I'll yeah I'll definitely sell that and then I have a romper that was sent to me by a brand oh, blue and gray the color olive just kind of makes my skin tone look very muddy against it so I am not gonna be keeping this this is a little romper that I used to wear a lot in the summertime it's still very cute this one is a blazer from American Apparel I don't really wear this kind of color anymore or the silhouette so I'm gonna see if I sell it and then a reformation bodysuit I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile. I don't know why. For some reason, I always find myself selling the things that I get from Reformation, even though I feel like they're very classic pieces. Not in like a bad way, but just in a easy to wear kind of way. Let's show you guys what's going on here. Really, I'm getting rid of so much stuff and everything here, I just do not wear anymore. I just kind of want to make space, you know? That's definitely my priority. This is my keep pile. I think I'm gonna donate this. This, I'm really thinking about selling i mean keeping but i'm not sure because it's just so bright colored and i kind of like things that are a little bit more soft from and other stories so it's a really good quality piece <laughs> i know this is really cute but i shouldn't keep things for just like nostalgia purposes so i'm gonna sell that what the heck i'll sell that too this i'm gonna need these pants are really cute so i'm gonna put that in my maybe pile we'll see if i keep all this stuff but i'm just really thinking about it the second bag i think this is where i have all of my loot of things that I'm going to be keeping because these are my sweaters and I have a very very special connection with my sweaters we're gonna start off with this ooh, just smack myself in the face so this sweater I got from Altrain Vintage it has all of these baubles on it and it is honestly just like one of the cutest things that I've ever thrifted. You guys know that very intricate knitwear you see on Pinterest? That's what this sweater reminds me of because it has all of these cool details to it that I just can't get over. My big hat, oh my gosh. I love this hat so much. It totally ruined my hairstyle. Do you guys see how big it is? I love it because it keeps me warm and that's all that matters in the winters that we have here. And then I also have this designer sweater that was a hand-me-down from the actress that my mom works for. It's from Iris V. Arnhem. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I remember when my mom had it in her closet first. I was just like hoping that someday she would give it to me and she did. So that is staying in my closet forever. And this is just... A scarf I think we're hitting like all of our <gasps> this is my winter pile guys and this is all the stuff that like I recently thrifted and that I'm excited to wear okay this I'm keeping because it's a scarf I need this top is from Reformation I've been lusting over it for freaking a year and a half before I finally picked it up at their sample sale and I got so excited that I picked it up so yes this is staying with me it's just a little lacy top that has all these romantic ruffles around the shoulders and it's so precious this one i got from thread up and i believe it actually has like a couple of holes in it so i think i'm gonna be going in one of these days and just closing them up what's the point of throwing out sweaters that have like tiny holes on them you know this one is actually the same cut as the lace top except it has short sleeves and it's made with the chiffon fabric it's very simple in color but it does have a lot of details going on so that's something that i can just see myself wearing a lot definitely keeping this this one is from for love and lemons and it has this beautiful detailing here at the front with these pleats and these ruffles so precious can't believe i'm saying this but i think i'm gonna be putting this jacket in my maybe pile even though it was honestly like one of my favorite jackets ever it's made out of this velvet fabric and then it has this embroidered cuff here and it has more of this like paisley pattern embroidery on the back i don't know i think i'm gonna keep it but i'm gonna put it in the maybe pile and ask you guys what you think on instagram i feel like some of you guys are gonna tell me to get rid of stuff so you can get your hands on them i have a lot of subscribers that i love talking to all the time and i think that we have a real connection so i'm gonna entrust you guys on your opinions i don't even know why i brought up the sneaky stuff that's not gonna happen that's definitely not gonna happen my pepto pink turtleneck keeping it a little oatmeal top that has a scoop neckline with these ruffles here. I'm gonna put it in my maybe pile. It's so soft and it's ribbed. This is a little periwinkle sweater. It's so cute. I really haven't had a chance to wear it that much. I'm gonna keep this guy. Fuzzy cardigan, puff sleeves, right up my alley. Keeping it. 
This sweater, I love so much. I spent so much money on it. I think one of the buttonholes is actually kind of damaged. I'm gonna try to find out a way to fix this because I am a knitwear major. There's no reason for me not to be able to, but I think I'm gonna end up like needing some yarn for it. But do you guys see this? It is so beautiful. I think I love the sleeves more than I like the actual bodice. This is actually a fun little sweater that is from For Love and Lemons. And it has all these like little feathery yarns. I think I'm actually gonna keep this one for the fall time and layer it up with like a turtleneck underneath. I kind of wish this were a turtleneck because I feel like that'd be really cute, but it's not. And this one is a white turtleneck can't go wrong with it i think this is a really great layering piece not going to be keeping this trench coat because i have another pink jacket then i have this blazer that's perfect for the fall time i think this one actually fits me properly i don't know should i keep it what do you guys think it's a really nice color and then a black turtleneck and this one's the only black turtleneck I have, so I am keeping that. I actually have a top over there that I wanna show you guys that I'm thinking of selling. Three people's stuff usually runs bigger even though it's my size. So unfortunately, this piece doesn't fit me as well as I'd like it to. Isn't it so beautiful? I'm so sad. And then it has these ribbons on the sides. Maybe I could take this in. That is everything. And I know this was a little bit different than my last video where I purged my closet in that I didn't try everything on. But the reason why I didn't wanna do that is because I feel like once I put something on, it allows me to attach myself too much to it. So I just decided that this time I would take everything at face value and then of course try the maybes on and have you guys help me out. So thanks so much to everyone that gave me their opinion and sent me a DM and yeah, just your thoughts because it's really helpful in general just to have like a friend there. But as always, if you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a little like for me and also so leave me a comment down below letting me know if you'd like me to try on my entire autumn wardrobe because I feel like that'd be really nice for you guys that are like putting your closet together and want some inspiration for pieces to pick up if you happen to actually enjoy my style. I think it's a good idea. I don't know. Let me know. I would love to know your thoughts in this video too. So leave me a comment down below. I always love chatting with you guys down there. If you're new here and you want to see more thrift hauls, lookbooks, and everything else in between, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell to be notified for whenever I upload because YouTube doesn't do that for y'all. I'm gonna go because I've been filming this for the past like three hours now. So I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye. Mwah.